Hello fellows, I'm Joe from Marmoset, and this is Getting to Know Toolbag 3. In this episode, I'll show you how to import animated meshes and how to create animations directly inside Toolbag as well. First off, load up your animated FBX or Alembic file. In the Timeline window, you'll find the playback controls as well as essential settings like frame rate, animation time, and playback speed. Isolate a selection of time by dragging the controls on the bottom bar. You can isolate frame ranges by setting up animation sets for your model as well. Select the file reference object, and then enter the corresponding start and end frames for the set. This is really useful for previewing looping animations, like run and jump cycles. To select a set, use the current animation dropdown. Now hit play to see your animation set. I'll jump ahead as I enter the values in for the rest of the sets, and then switch to the flying loop so you can see the little fox wings flap around. You can animate objects in Toolbag as well, so let's make our light move across the scene. First off, select the light and then turn on Auto Keyframe. Then I'll drag the light to the left in the first frame, move forward in time, and drag it to the right. Now you can see that the motion of the light has been recorded. It's important to note that keyframes are only recorded for the currently selected object. When I open the keyframe editor, I can directly control the keyframe curve. For instance, I can change the curve falloff type or I can double click to add more points to add variation to the animation. Now when I hit play, the motion of the light will have a sort of sine wave effect. Object properties can be animated as well. I can create a zoom effect by selecting my camera, turning auto key back on, zooming out a bit at the first frame, moving ahead of time and then zooming back in. You can animate most of the camera properties, including post effects, which opens up a lot of creative possibilities. So, what if you want to create a simple turntable animation? This is really easy. Just select the object that you want to rotate in the outliner, and then click the turntable icon. This will parent your selection to a turntable object, which will give you some easy controls to set the rotation. You can have multiple turntable objects in your scene as well, if you want different rotation controls for things like your mesh, lighting, or cameras. When you're finished with your scene, hit F5 or go to the Capture menu and select Video to export a video file. In this box you can set various parameters like resolution, sampling, and compression quality. That does it for the basics of the animation system. As always, check out our website for more tutorials and information about our products.